Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the RV Man LP Exhibitions. And before we go to cast a wow, I found this heart piece on the way there. That makes three of them now. One more, I'll end up having eight hearts instead of seven. And by the way, I found another Kinstone Fusion. Remember those Minish I passed up not too long ago? Well, I needed the Kinstone to fuse with them. And on top of the fact that I needed to complete Cave of Fire in order for them to even want to fuse Kinstones with me. But there's also another Minish here that I needed to deal with. As a matter of fact, he's right here! We got a fuse kinstones with this one right here, and this one will also have a kin- Oh, wait, wrong one. Wrong one. Gotta make sure I got the right one. There we go. This one will have a kinstone that's gonna show up. Well, one of them showed up on uh, Mount Krennel. This one's actually gonna show up in Minish Woods, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, actually, Long Long Ranch. I'm gonna need to shrink in order to do that, but unfortunately, for the time being, I don't have an access to get that. So, with that said, there's no reason to be here. Let us move on, shall we? And this place, we need to go on ahead and flip over the pot here with the Kanapuchi. And we're gonna have to climb up. Unfortunately, those masks have to move. But we can't move them yet because we need the Power Man. Unfortunately for us. We need to find that, and we'll probably do that next episode. But there is something we can do, considering that we're here. We can, however, climb down the stairs and get this chest to get the kinstone that's in this chest. And in case anybody is wondering, oh, goddammit, stupid keys. It's the same old thing with Zelda. It takes you out of a oh, charge, whatever you're doing, a charge spin. But as I was saying, <clears throat> have to find the Kinstone in order for to actually do something with it. And oh, by the way, I needed uh four elements in order to push that rock because that's the only way I could do anything with that maze over there. So yeah. I'm showing you all that I couldn't do anything right this second, so with that said, I'm going to have to leave this place and come back when I have all four of the elemental stones fused into the sword. And now we've come to the sleeping cobbler. Now that we have the mushroom from the last episode, let's walk up to this guy and give him a whiff. And when he smells it, It'll wake him right up. So, with that said, we need to get those Pegasus shoes. And with those shoes, <clears throat> it is going to be mandatory in order for you to get to Caster Wild because you can't even walk in the Caster Wilds without the Pegasus shoes because you'll sink straight to the bottom. Yeah, it's really ridiculous, you know. Oh, and by the way, you can actually run on water. Well, in Caster Wild, anyway. I wouldn't know about attempting to run on water from uh, the deep water. You're going to need the uh, boots for that. But there is one thing you're also going to need. This jar right here. And now that we've bought the boomerang, we can just go on ahead and take this here. Oh, by the way, we gotta come back when we get enough money to buy the big bomb bag! <clears throat> so, with that said, we're gonna take this, and we're gonna feed the dog and take the bottle. Which is gonna suck, because there's still food in the bottle. Oh, and in case you're wondering about that shield, yeah, that's just in case a like like steals your shield. You can always buy another one. Oh, and he also has 30 uh, shells there, too, so you might want to get that, too, while you're there. Anyway, here's the fairy that's in Minish Woods, or Lake Hylia, if you will. 
The only way to get that is on the way to uh, Long On Ranch. There is a place where you can use the Keda Poochie to flip over, and you just enter into this section here, and in this sanctuary, you can pretty much uh, offer to give all your rupees to this fairy. She'll give you an increase of wallet. Now you have the biggest wallet in the entirety of the game. It went from having 30 rupees to now having 300 to now... Oh, actually no, it went from 900... Okay, it went from 99 to 300 to now 999. That's gonna be a lot of rupees, cause that bomb bag upgrade is 500 rupees. <coughs> Trust me, you're going to need it. So now we're gonna have to go back and we're gonna have to get to the dog. But before we do, I'm showing you where I went. This area is where we need to go to get into the forest area. Now then, there's two specific people we need to give Kinstone to. This is one of them. This starts the quest for the mirror shield. This guy in particular, not the other one. This guy. So, you fuse kinstones with Eni, it'll make the Goron get so strong that he'll become Brock Lesnar and he will punch through a wall. Yes, Brock Lesnar has punched through walls. And through a lot of people's faces, but yes, he has punched through walls. Or tossed Matt Hardy through one. But whatever the case, that blue kinstone made the Goron punch through the wall, so all you have to do is come back a little bit later when you have the ability to get to that area. Now, you need this kinstone in order for it to get a treasure chest that'll show up in Mount Krennel. That treasure chest will be on the way to the top. So, yeah. That one's probably a kinstone. So there's a lot of things to recover once we're pretty much finished with Caster Wild. And God forbid, it's gonna be the entirety of the next episode that will be done with Caster Wild. So on that note, let's just break open all these jars and find that there's nothing here. Great. Back to the woods! And we're here! And the reason why we have to go back to the woods is because, um, the guy who had the bottle marked it on his map to feed the dog. And feeding this dog will come in handy because now you have a bottle! I think I was supposed to talk to the dog too, I was, I'm not sure. But, since we've got two empty since we've got two bottles, one of them being empty, we can fill it with whatever the hell we want. But instead, we're going to continue on into Hyrule Town. This is the bakery. I didn't go into the bakery last episode, but we will this episode. The bakery has two things. A cake that has a kinstone in it, and the baguette also has a cake. I mean, has a kinstone in it. So, with that said, you buy the cake for 60 rupees, and you eat the cake. Yeah, that's it. However, just like with King Cakes, there's something in it, and unlike King Cakes, it's not a baby, it's a Kinstone. So, with that said, you don't have to buy another one. I swear you don't. We're just gonna go into Caster Wild now that we have the Pegasus Boots. And I do believe we have to be in the fortress of, uh... We have to be in the fortress of, uh, winds before we even remotely think about going into the, uh... Wind Temple. Which, by the way, is held the best, uh, dungeon in the game by a lot, due to the fact of the dungeon item that's in it. We'll cross that bitch when we get there, but before we have to do that, we have to get to the, uh... We have to get to the... 
Fortress of Wind first, and then the Temple of Droplets just to get to Caster Wild. Not Caster Wild, I meant the, um, Wind Temple. So, with that said, we can walk around here for right now and explore the area, because I do believe there is a way for us to, uh, navigate so that we can get to the Fortress of Wind. But there is a place we need to go first before anything, but before we do... Pihak! Use the Gush Jar, kill it! Anything that's flying around, always use the Gush Jar! But we have to come here first! And there's a good reason! Because we're gonna be introduced to an enemy that's gonna be in the Fortress of Winds! Much to everyone's dismay! So with that said, before we can get to the chest, we have to deal with this Dark Knight! Oh joy! Oh, let me take off the Pegasus boots. Dude, take off the Pegasus boots and switch to the... Switch to the... Switch to the goddamn shield, you fool! Ah, the boomerang. Why did you switch to the boomerang? Switch to the shield! Yeah, he's going to chip away all your health. But, uh... Yeah, let's put up the shield. And when he leaves himself wide open, he's going to attack. Alright. Okay, what I was trying to say was, when he leaves himself wide open like that, you slash him. Just like that, four slashes will kill him. But there are different colors and different variations of Dark Knight. So bear that in mind before you even remotely think that that was going to be a challenge. Oh boy. However, there are some things we need to get before we proceed through Caster Wild. I know this is a short part, and I know this is a short episode. Sorry about that, folks, but we are going to finish the rest of Caster Wild, and we are going to finish the Fortress of Winds in the next episode of the RV Man LP Exhibitions. Till then, this is RV Man 985. I will see you all next time when we do that. Yeah, it's going to be a long part because the entirety of the Fortress of Winds is going to be in the next episode, so deal with that. Sorry this is a short part. Peace out.